Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey I'm here for the Zygarde Complete Pokemon Spotlight, aka the Zygarde Complete Movie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sit down, grab some popcorn, because I'm going to be here a while. And, well, I mean, you might not be. You could probably turn it off whenever you want, but I'll be here recording this for a while. Now, Zygarde is one of the most versatile Pokemon in Ubers, in the sense that it can be either offensive, defensive, something in between. Uh, it has glare sets with... Uh, rest talk thousand arrows you can see a rest talk defensive uh, dragon tail thousand arrow set as well uh, this checks pokemon like ho-oh groudon nicarazma dust main things like that uh, an offensive dragon dance set with groundium z can be used to ko um, support arceus dragonium z is also something that can be used stelium z as well uh, can be sub dd thousand arrows coil can be Coil, Dragon Dance, can be Sub DD, Protect Leftovers. Uh, with its ability, Power Construct, when it actually gets below half for the end of the turn, it obviously becomes Zyger Complete. And that's one of its uh, that's one of its drawbacks, I guess you could say, because it becomes ridiculously bulky when it is Zyger Complete. But prior to that, it's only slightly bulky in a sense, like if you're not invested and uh, obviously you're super vulnerable to... Um, Moves like Ice Beam in the tier, which Pokemon such as Support Arceus uh, Water commonly run, uh, as well as Fairy moves such as Xerneas' Moonblast and Judgment from Arceus Fairy. Though it is important to note if you are defensive, you will love a, uh, live a Judgment from an Arceus Fairy, which will activate your father form. I think it does around 80 something percent, 86 percent, I want to say, around that range. Uh, so you can actually take one and then get into father form while glaring so very versatile Pokemon now I didn't want to start from zero points as the ubers tier is pretty famous for or infamous rather for having uh, Pidgeotto's and Charizard's regular Charizard's down in in the tier When you start so I laddered up to 1200 with this team from I'm Plaza uh, By the way, I loaded up every single team. I think from page six and after uh, for the Zygarde movie and uh, the reason I wanted to start around 1200 is because I think these, this one, this one, uh, this one's pretty good too. But this one, Billy Sharp literally left the team that said Zygar Father and Crabs. Like, <laughs> what was Father doing? So, uh, I'm Plaza was a team I actually used to ladder up to about 1200, which I am now. I'm hoping that in this episode, if things go well, we'll end up around 1600 when we're done. Uh, but the first team is a sub Dragon Dance Protect Thousand Arrow set. This is similar to the one that's seen in the OU tier with T Spikes Greninja, and then we have Mega Gengar to um, abuse the T Spikes with Hex, uh, Offensive Veltal, as well as Rock Polish Groudon and Geomancy Xerneas. So, yeah, let's just go and look for a game. I've won every game so far, but I mean, it's from 1000 to 1200, so it's not that impressive, I guess. Uh, let me make sure we block challenges too. I mean, I, I doubt we'll get any challenges as we keep going. Oh, oh man, this is what I wanted to avoid. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I'll use this team a couple times. Uh, I'll use it twice. Anyway, Zygarde is ridiculous in this. Like, it, it, it's Zygarde. The unfortunate thing about his team, which is kind of what I wanted to avoid about it too, is he has a Pex. Uh, so even in, down here, Pex is going to be annoying me. Uh, I see Greninja putting in a ton of work too. I feel like I can lead off with Rock Polish Groudon and win. I don't have rocks on this team though, it's just a Spikes offensive variant. So, yeah, we'll go Grand Lead. My opponent leads Pex. I'm gonna taunt it and then uh, proceed to actually set up one layer of T Spike uh, simply because he has two Pokemon that can come in. And I'm assuming it's Mega Lucario, which is the only reason why uh, this guy is in the Ubers tier. But uh, he has struggle, so he can't even. Okay, that's great. That makes it a lot easier. All right, so we'll get up our layers. Um, one spike is going to be really nice. Uh, unfortunately, he has multi-scale Dragonite, I'm assuming, and uh, obviously Mimikyu's ability you cannot stop. Uh, so we'll go for Taunt here to stop Lucario from setting up. Like I said, I'm assuming this thing is Mega Lucario. I'm going to go for another game at the same time because this game is... Uh, this, this I, don't, I don't think I have to concentrate to win this game. That boy had Dream Punch. Hold up, I might be wrong. You got Ice Punch too? Okay, cool. This is more like it. Uh, so, similar um, structure, except I have Gengar on the floor. And, and this is why Gengar is really good with Cursed Body, because it touches the floor, absorbs T-Spike. So, we'll see who wins the speed tie. I think one T-Spike is going to be ridiculous in this game, especially because he is more offensive uh, type of team. But, goes out to Pex on the uh, Zygarde. 
And what I'll do is sub first. I'm subbing before actually attacking because even if he has haze, I already saw that he has no attacks to actually touch me. So if I end up being a sub, he can't do crap to me anyway. Um, so it's a Groudon lead, very much like T-Spike as he goes directly out to Greninja. So this is beautiful. Uh, ideally, I win this next speed time. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I get that T-Spike up immediately for Arceus, for Groudon, for Reshiram, and my sub DG Zygarde is going to go in on this game. Lovely. I don't mind this type of team when I load up the Crab team next, though I might just lose to it. Um, so because he went Mimikyu, I'm actually forced to go for Thousand Arrows. Ideally, it's Life Orb Mimikyu, as I don't know if Adamant plus one Zygarde KOs um, Mimikyu at that range. It is Life Orb. Nice. So we can actually mess a little bit around with Sub here and try to get our Father form. Especially since he's using an inaccurate move. Uh, and even if he isn't, like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter like if he misses or not. But I really do want the bulk. I really do want the bulk. So I get the bulk now, which will be really nice for taking on uh, Dragon Knight. Um, I'm still gonna be faster than Gren, which is really nice. Uh, since he's pretty adamant about attacking the match, I'm gonna go for Protect just to get a little bit of extra health. Nice. So that's a dead. Uh, Mimikyu, and I believe, yep, 396. So I'm still faster than ground, which is awesome. So I get my taunt off, which is really cool. As he goes for gunk shot, and uh, this is, sucks that he doesn't absorb the T-Spike right there by doing that, but we'll get up a spike again. Uh, that's one of the conditions that Zygarde actually needs in order to, is he just using, uh, he's just using life for ground. That's really cool. Um, so uh, that's, I guess he's running HP fire and he's not, uh, he does the imperfect IV, which he didn't fix, because other than that, I just ran, uh, won three speed ties in a row. I'll go for a second layer T spike. Uh, though he does have a more offensive build, um, because I do have sub and protect, I'll, it will be racking up a little bit more. It will be la racking up faster than yeah. He has to be having an uh, imperfect ID. Now, I hopefully this guy doesn't forfeit uh, while I bring out my uh, Gengar and Hex. This guy, I'm okay with forfeiting. Let's see what he wants to do. Uh, he could be Scarf Grin if he goes for Ice Beam and I see Protean. Man, don't be Scarf Protean, bro. No. Okay, I know Scarf is super, like, that's what Protean is nowadays, but come on. <laughs> come on. So, uh, Father is in. Now we can just go right up to Gengar. KO Greninja, beautiful. And I'm not going to actually. Thankfully, he goes Mewtwo, which is one of the things that actually forces me to switch. So I'm happy about that. Now, uh, the way I want to win is i mean all all of my mons can win um but because i want zygarde to actually put in work is it going to be able to set up on his groudon i'm going to risk my belt out here i won't die to an ice beam if he goes for it uh i'm assuming he's mega mewtwo i think he is mega mewtwo x we'll sucker punch here we're not going to mess around with this threat i'm assuming he is mega mewtwo x i'll sub up just in case he goes for rain dance yeah i don't know <laughs> And then he can stall out some turns. This is beautiful. Uh, I think my Zygarde has just enough speed points also. Yep, to outspeed uh, a timid Ludicolo at plus two. That's awesome. So I get him second Dragon Dance here, which is really cool. Ideally, he's Life Orb. But as he goes Arceus Fairy, uh, I can go directly out to Gengar. Now, this is, this is the issue here because uh, Father can win, but I might just win. Man, I want to say I might just win immediately. It's okay. That's actually better that he got rid of the hazards because he, for he probably would have forfeited beforehand. I'm, I'm being honest. That Giga Drain did not break my sub. Uh, so at this point, we can just hit Thousand Arrows twice. Look at it. Ooh, nice. It's a beautiful 2 AKO. KO. That's what I like to see. I don't know why you wouldn't go for Ice Beam. Um, you should always go for Ice Beam. This is father. Jose, this is father, bro. All right, so. Knock out Arceus right here. And basically, I can just taunt whatever comes in. Uh, as he brings out Groudon, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, I don't expect this to be a Rock Polish variant, but I'll deal with you in a second, Jose. Hold up. Stop clicking your move so fast. <laughs> All right. Nice Stone Edge. I actually don't mind him going for that, too, because I get a little bit of chip off with Hex, and that was offensive as hell, Groudon. So this is awesome because now I get in Father. Oh, well, soon. And I'll be able to Dragon Dance, uh, allowing me to be faster than Darkrai, outspeeding Reshiram and whatnot. As long as it's not Scarf Reshiram and he doesn't go hard into it. 
Yeah, I don't I don't care about anything. I don't even know if Z outrage from this thing would knock me out. Okay, yeah, I easily would have. That was Life Orb Dragon Claw though, to be fair. Nice. Brings me right into uh, this form. Uh, I can set up a second DD and I think win. So I'm going to go for it. Because I'll easily live the next... Not easily, but I'll live the next Presser's Blades. That's that's just... That's a 504 attack for I don't know if I've ever seen one. That is max attack. But we are now plus 2 speed. Zygarde is inside. And uh, Reshiram will die. And Darkrai should die, I believe. Um, it'll be close. If he Scarf, he'll outspeed me. Hey, but Zygarde did what it did. It literally kills Groudon. That's what, that's what it's supposed to do. And Jose's last month, beautiful. Outsped and KO'd. In two games, same thing. Plus two speed Zygarde. This one has more, though. Good game, Jose. Good game, Tommy. Good game. Not bad. Okay, so I'm okay with that. I think this is a fine showcase of what Zygarde did. Um... Had I kept up my uh, T spike, Zyger could have actually beaten the uh, Zyger could have actually beaten the Arceus Fairy. But time to uh, to lose a game with Zyger. Well, Father, maybe Father Puss Crabs will be enough depending on what I get. Give me give me uh, Pidgeotto stuff right now. I'm okay with that. It's literally called Father and the Crabs. Like, <laughs> uh, yo, this is the opposite of what I want to see. I don't even have rapid spin. Yeah, and he has, he has way too much. I'm gonna get swept by father. Uh, I have hyper cutter. Alright. I'm gonna get up my, uh, my rocks here for Lugia. And let's see if... Uh, I'm only using this team once, by the way. I, I just wanted to use it because I'm, I literally load up every team. Good, good, good. Where is the wrap spin? Like, if I had spin, the shuckle would be... Uh, like, what it did would be gone. It didn't matter. At least we got rid of shuckle. Um, Zygarde can come out now if it wants to and win. Oh, it goes Kangaskhan. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good option to win, too. Man, really gave me... It just gave me some... Uh, that's all right. I have, I have like, I mean, Luna's team isn't technically even a joke. It just has some fun mods. Uh, but this one he said uh, was better for lower ladder. So I have like, there's a few more. And then, hardcore Ubers. All right, Crab. I think you live this. I think you'll live a drain punch twice. They weakened it. I think you'll live it. Yeah, you'll live that next one. Yeah. All right, too bad we're not Iron Fist, so I don't know if this Life Orb Drain... Ooh, never mind. Look at the crap out. What's a Mega Kangaskhan? Hey, bring that thing back in. No, 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 no. Seismic Toss is too broken. That is the most broken Mega Kangaskhan set. How are you 2 KOing the entire meta for free with max HP, max defense investment? Oh, perfect. I have Kravit around this. Oh, never mind. Unperfect. Luckily, I'm a Salt Vest, I just realized. Um, I was like, oh, okay, I can toxic this. No. No, you can't. Oh, thank you, sir. Wait, why? Okay. I guess he realized I'm not a threat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Appreciate. That, that's crazy. The dude has a dedicated suicide lead. This better KO. I'm about to say adaptability boosted knockoff. Hell yeah. Not bad. Impressed. Zygar comes out. I spam knockoff. I'm... This is still easily break it sub. Yep. Yo, I love how I'm faster. Okay, uh, we might be able to do this right now. Uh, go ahead and give me a second DD. Hold up, we might be able to do this. I t hold up, we might get a win here. Yeah, you just gave me father. Hell yeah. Don't be sash. Don't be sash, Marshadow, because I'm getting greedy. Don't be sash, Marshadow, because I'm getting greedy, dude. 
Don't be sash. You can no longer escape. No, I was thinking about dragon dancing, but I'm pretty sure since it's a nine, I wouldn't be able to actually set up on it. But I am. I somehow ended up with a plus three Zygarde. Um, no, don't be sash, dude. I have thousand waves, not even thousand arrows. Well, there goes all my boosts. <laughs> GG, dude. Why am I? I just realized I'm thousand. Wait, is it over? It, hold up. It's E Killer. It's Arceus Ghost. I can't even touch it. Yeah, GG, dude. You played it incredibly. All right. Well, somehow we did it. Almost did manage to do it with Father. Um, we're not using that team again. But it also passed me a team too, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, and then, okay, perfect. A little bit more up the speed of what I think I can handle with this squad. It's Thousand Waves, Toxic Rest, Haze. Mega Gengar, which literally destroys my opponent. Sash, this is an incredible lead. He doesn't have rock, so I'm glad I have Sash on Marshadow. I'm gonna trap something. If I'm in my lead with Lucario, it's a cool Pokemon. Or her, whatever. <laughs> Luna. Luna actually just happened to give the team at the same time as this. It was like this, then this, then Luna. Um, this one was like a newer team that was given, but I was like, no, lower ladder. We need to do this right now. Uh, Chris invited me to play Dead by Daylight. As much as I think I can actually play Dead by Daylight and Ladder at the same time. <laughs> not worth it for a two hour video. I should put on the light too. Oof. This is great because like I know in the beginning of this video versus the end, I'm going to be sounding way more alive. This could be Scarf. I don't even care. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, the good thing is my Dougie didn't matter so much um, because of literally Zygarde being defensive in this team. So, we can throw up a Toxic here. As he brings out Serp. Oh, this is what it was for. That's fire. That is fire. No, 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 no. And you're going to activate my form too, which is amazing. Because I'll actually be able to um, tank hits from Arcanine and whatnot. I am absolutely okay with this. Hit me again. Unfortunately, he brought out Greninja. Now, I'm assuming you're going to go for, what, Ice Beam? Oh, it's Life Orb, and I was frozen. I mean, that doesn't matter too much. I'm assuming HP Fire or Hydro Pump is coming out. I should probably not mess around too much with this, huh? It's Life Orb, and I didn't see Battle Bond, so... Um, we'll Whirlpool right now. You literally cannot go Superior. But I'm going to... Use this as an opportunity to get my uh, get my father form. I feel. I feel that's that's smart. But then, because I I can easily take on the hits from. Uh, I mean, obviously I can beat him down with Parasong, but because I'm Sapsiver, if you didn't realize. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll allow him to hit my Zygarde on the last hit, or on the last turn rather. What are you doing? Why are you going for a Leaf Storm? I'm gonna allow him to hit him because I want my. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course, Zygarde gets slayed. I wanted my father form right there, but uh, Superior goes down. Assuming that Greninja doesn't have Gunk Shot, it, it could, because um, Battle Bond can get Gunk Shot in uh, Ultra Sun Moon, but it could also be Torn, I guess. So Grim comes out. Ice Beams again. I pivoted into Magnezone always because I thought he'd just attack with Ice Beam. I think that's fair. Yeah, as he goes for Dark Pulse, beautiful. I like how Hayes actually did something. Oh, let me get some chip on you. Hold up. Get a little bit of, little bit of clean chip. Oh no, whatever's coming in. Let me get some chip on that too. Let me get some chip. Arcanine. Bush trying to wild charge me. Nah, look at that chip. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to stay in. 
uh, though, because this is the, the perfect time for Zygarde to come out. Because it'll literally eat every hit, and I'm paralyzed, so you can't even burn me. I'm gonna throw off a Toxic. Um, Heracross being poised, I doubt Heracross is Scarf. I honestly doubt Heracross is Scarf. Um, I'm assuming it's like Flame Orb, but I'd rather poison it anyway, because it racks up a little bit quicker, and... Uh, Oh, you can close combat crit me all you want. I'm trying to get father form out here. You know what? There you go. I'll go for thousand ways. He brings that hair across. So, unfortunately, uh, I mean that's about the same damage I would have gotten on hair across. Flame orb. Yep. I'll I'll eat this. No, my leftovers. It's all right. I'm father now. I am father right now. So he probably close combat me. If anything, uh, we'll go zone. I think it's the, again, most sustainable. It's obviously paralyzed. Uh, I still have Sash Marshadow to kind of win. I'm assuming, again, that's another Mega Lucario, which is why we're in the, uh, which is why we're in Ubers, or, which is why he's in Ubers right now. Hey, buddy. You want to pick a move? Yeah, this mod isn't going to take crap, man, from anything. I love how Parish Trap Ozzy on this team is so solid. Versus him too. I mean, it's Parish Trap Ozzy. Go ahead and attack. Hey, you want to thaw? Just get off a little bit of Flash Cam? No, that's okay. Doesn't matter. Gengar comes out and just hexes. And hexes. Hex is going to destroy this hair across. Hey, thanks for the burn, buddy. Beautiful. Alright, so you go Flag on now and click Earthquake, most likely. Yep. We go Marshadow. Marsh uh, Marshadow, we go Zygarde, excuse me. We throw off a Toxic. As we land it, beautiful. And uh, now we per now we rest. Hey, we broke through, that's amazing. And Flygon is, uh, I think, one poison turn outside, in range, or almost one poison turn in range of uh, Shadow Sneak. So after one poison turn, I believe it dies to Shadow Sneak, so. We even get to burn a turn, which is amazing. Uh, because I'll be able to wake up later versus Arcanine. Even Lucario, uh, plus two Lucario is not going to knock out uh, Zygarde as he doubles out. A good double buddy, but all you did was give me leftovers and the final turn I needed on my Zygarde, so. Thank you. Now he can't even set up on me. This is beautiful. Person pulling doubles, though. I like that. I like that. That's knowledge. That's learning. That's really good. That's like... Like for someone who pulled up in the Ubers tier by accident, most likely, uh, maybe they want to just lose Mega Lucario. Um, it's nice to see doubles. It's refreshing. I like that. Like, I'm being so serious right now. There's no sarcasm in my voice. This is 100% this is serious. Now, as far as what Arcanine can do to me, it did 36% with a crit. So I'm assuming it's going to do like 12 now uh, to father form. Because it did 36% to big Zygarde. Or baby Zygarde. My son. Ah, nice. This has 1,000 ways over 1,000 arrows, by the way. I wonder if we eat this. It's actually better to not risk it. Um, especially because I don't need Gengar in this at all. But Zygarde can still knock out Arcanine. So we'll go Gengar. BP will easily knock me out um, if he chooses to go for... Oh, it actually doesn't. Wow. Surprise, I live. But I'm good with getting... Oh, that person disconnected the second Hex hit. Nice. Let's look for another game. Uh, so this time we'll use Luna's team. Luna has one of my least favorite Pokemon, which is Soul Rock. But it also has Spec Zygarde. Uh, now the reason Zor Sol Rock is one of my least favorite Pokemon is because it's it was given to us in a sub hub, me and Envy, in a sub hub, and it was said to be a counter to Groudon, and the first thing it did was die to eruption. So wasn't my favorite spotlight. I love Z explosion Genesect in this game. Alright, we're gonna leave Cloyster. Hmm. So there's two things I could do right here. I could either Shell Smash or I could Spike. Um, but if I Shell Smash, I'm not entirely sure I'm faster because it's only 239. And Genesec, actually, yeah, Genesec is, I know that base 100 at plus one is 492 um, because I played with Flygon enough in DVP just to know that. Genesec should be faster than me. I'm gonna Spike as he goes for Iron Head. Huh. Is it worth weakening you for my own gen? It definitely is. Hell yeah, it definitely is. So we'll go for Liquidation as opposed to uh, Shell Smashing or anything as he goes Groudon. Um, 
the vapor. And now we'll show smash. I kind of wish I saw smash there. Wow. But basically, the damage for the damage on Genesect would have been really nice right there for my Z explosion. But just gets up Stealth Rock as I kind of expected. And now we get off an Adamant plus two Icicle Spear. That is definitely more than enough chip for Genesect to KO you. Goodbye, my friend, though. So now we can get out Soul Rock the counter. Get up our rocks. Go ahead and get up our rocks right now. As he toxics me. And what we'll do is rock to him. Um, assuming you want to bring in Genesect or keep in. Uh, by the way, this ground on just 1v1 me. I, uh, I'm getting one. That overheat did 28%. I didn't want to toxic initially because I, uh, I, I didn't want to reveal I had it, kind of. I guess I technically beat it. Whatever. It's fine. I beat it. Fine. So Groudon goes down. Uh, as for my opportunity to uh, shift gear, I think that's going to be in front of Metagross. Go ahead, Morning Sun. Look at that Solrock. They dodge it. I'll be impressed. All right. Cool. So Solrock ended up beating the Groudon, and I got up the layers. And if he wants to defog, I still have my Stealth Rocker alive. Unfortunately, Kyogre comes out. Please don't be sub. Because I got specs from this team, right? Oh, awesome, awesome. I'm faster with Soul Rock, so it's defensive. Defensive water. Sp I'll take it. Hey, Zygarde, I know you could not do anything. I mean, Zekrom, I know you couldn't do anything in your spotlight. Oh, oh, just <laughs> Thank you for continuing the trend, buddy. You didn't get frozen, though. We're good. There we go. Kyogre gone. Awesome. So I can save my Z explosion for Arceus, if anything. I might just lose, though, to his own Arceus if it comes out right now. Depending on the set. Genesis that comes out. I'm just gonna roost just in case he don't U-turn. He explodes in my face. Alright. Get up my own Genesect here. Time to shift gear. Cause I live a plus two E speed, I'm hoping. Unfortunately I didn't get an attack raise. Oh man, I don't even think this is gonna kill. 200 base power though. Ah, nothing. All right, father. Go ahead. Eat this boy up. Yum. Okay, I get my father form and I have specs earth power, which is actually super effective versus everything. So we're good. Maybe. Don't have ice punch. I mean, I have Ho at the end of the day too. Maybe it can win. Uh, but I can't switch in on this, obviously, because rocks are up. He does have Ice Punch. I have Roost too, which I'm not a fan of. He should always be recovered on Holo. Alright, so I think he's trying to freeze me, but luckily Sacred Fire is one of the, the moves that auto thaws no matter what. Burn. Nice, now I can just Roost. Awesome, okay. We're getting some wins. I wish Genesec took out the... Um, I wish Genesec got the attack raise, because then it easily would have taken out... Oh, what's it called? Doesn't matter if I get frozen now, I feel. Yeah, I did. But it doesn't matter because, again, Sacred Fire with Thaw. So, Roost was always my best plan. I'm always going for Sacred Fire versus Necrozma anyway. Uh, as long as it's not Ultra Necrozma. <laughs> it probably is. There's Ultra. All right, he, fought on, he regular fought on Geyser. So, let's see if I burnt him. Sacred Fire melted the ice. We landed. Did we burn? Yes! Does light that burns the sky? Still Okoho. Or was he? Nah, we ate that. Yum! Hey! Look at Ho proving that it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Now we Earthquake here because he has these. Our earthquake actually crits. It didn't matter either because we 2 KO'd, but obviously the burns mattered for sure. So nice. We got our win there. Lovely. So Luna's. Now Cax are passing me a team too. I think this is dual screens or is it magic room? Yo, his OU team is kind of scary. <laughs> what makes it Uber though? Did you just want to play me? Cax 
It's Life Orb, Core Enforcer, with Trick Room, Natu. Also, just Brave Natured everything. And then I have V Killer, which is incredible. <laughs> and Trick Room weakens Paws in the cross. Wow, my entire team gets 6 0 by uh, this mod. Alright. We gotta reflect first, because I feel like I'll be able to take a hit. That boy toxic me. <laughs> Yo, this boy ate. Hold up. This is fire. He's gonna be faster than me, too. Look at not, not today. Alright, buddy. I'm actually gonna click Steam Eruption. I'm Grassy MZ. Alright, so now we're Fire Blast. Now I'm pretty sure Grassy MZ is gonna blow back uh, Garchomp anyway after Fire Blast. And he stays in with Celesteela, thankfully, because that thing kind of 6 0 my entire team. So I am really happy about that. Goodbye, Natu. Ungoodbye, Natu. <laughs> Not today. Yo, that is fire. That boy. Oh man, it's actually fire. I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Alright, so let's get up our rocks. Uh, <laughs> that boy. <laughs> Yo, good stuff, man. There's a problem, too. You're going to get normal gem exploded on. Lovely. So now I can e speed, which is what I wanted. Well, he has his ability, too. For sure you want to see me dead. Hello? Buddy? That did nothing with Reflect Up. And I get my father form too. And I'll be able to knock him out with Core Enforcer. Hold up. Look at that. Good B. Oh, Psychic Terrain almost gone too. Awesome. Awesome. I can almost... I, and I found my friends. The presence of many. I always go Volcanion here. Just Steam Eruption because it hits everything. I think he's locked in Ice Beam. That's some damage. Not bad. Hey, yo, why did Natu put in some... Okay, I know why Natu put in work. We're on the lower ladder, but you know what? I'll take it. Natu put in work. All right, so in terms of the best pass mid team, let's see what we got here. We have Subcoil Zygarde with Combine uh, Mega Mewtwo Y. Uh, defensive Arceus Water with a lot of speed, as well as that's a lot of speed. 365. What jump point are we hitting with that? Uh, then we have Scarf of Veltal, offensive Primal Groudon, and uh, we're fighting Mono Rain. Yo, this is so sad because I'm gonna send out Groudon, and that boy is not getting a water attack off the entire game. We're about to be 1200s though, so no, 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 <laughs> no rain for you. No rain for you. Oh, that's 50% too. This is speed tie? No, it just, his, they just set up rain first to, to, to make him feel bad. So we got rid of Pelipper there. Um, It probably mattered if it was defensive. No, dude. The extremely harsh sunlight was not lessened at all. Not at all, dude. It was, it was not lesson at all. <laughs> That's so sad, man. Polytoad was only useful in Gen 5 because of its ability, and then it just, just didn't have it in it. So we're subcoil uh, Zygarde in this, and it sets up on Groudon, but I'm not really liking the matchup as much. I love Arceus in this game. It's incredible. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with it because he Veltal is a, a problem for me, and it does let, like I said, set up on Groudon. Uh, I don't want Zygarde being poisoned. I'd rather Arceus take it, even though it's incredible in this game. Like I said, I'm 
Oh, you, oh nice. He doesn't even have it, so that's perfect. So, not only do I chip away at Groudon for a plus uh, 1,000 arrows, I'm also going to be able to deny rocks. Um, and even if he does spam rocks, that's fine. Like, look at look at Xerneas and look at his team. That is, uh, Genesect is not a Xerneas answer, by the way. Like, ever. Throws me onto Mewtwo. I can just click Ice Beam here. Uh, Genesect is not a Xerneas answer because with ro one turn of rocks plus two Moonblast Okos. I think I also have HP Fire on this one. Oh, just Focus Blast. You're a problem. Like to the point where I actually feel the need to Mega Evolve and go for Aura Sphere, which did absolutely nothing. That boy risked a roll. You don't know about 49 and 51, dude. Nah, you'll learn about that though. If it does 49 the first one, the second one isn't, it's not a roll anymore. Um, I believe I died to this because I don't have the 80 HP investment, but that's only if he's Life Orb. And being as, seeing as how Mewtwo, he has a Dark type and Genesect and whatnot, it's actually in my best interest to go for Psy Strike here. Didn't even go for the Spectral, I mean the Shadow Sneak. Well talk comes out. Talked about things being in my best interest. Ice Beaming is sure how to be in my best interest. You know, after all this, I'm gonna win with this. I'm gonna win with this model right now. Because I can set up with you with, with Zygarde. So I'm Geomancy. Moonblast is 10 million, dude, but it doesn't kill. Which one of these moves do I feel like I'll hit? I feel like I'll hit Thunder more than I'll hit Focus Blast. Because Thunder hits Ho in the tier. Yeah, and and, and Focus Blast hits Primal Groudon, but like, you don't land on Primal Groudon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get to use Zygarde in this one. That's fine. Uh, as you guys will see, many, many, many Zygarde. So I'm not, at this point, I'm not going to use reuse a team. I'm going to keep going. Um, but Geomancy Xerneas was ridiculous in this game anyway. I already said it at the beginning because he only had Genesect for it. And he gave me Groudon immediately. So Nice. Awesome plays. Let's go. So awesome plays is Gothitelle plus Zygarde. Um, Gothitelle being able to basically get rid of support Arceus for Zygarde complete. And then we have Scarf Xerneas, Spadaf Necrozma, Defensive Eveltal, Calm My Charm. So Calm My Charm over the Confide variant with Taunt and z -Ho -Ho. Now in this type of matchup, this isn't Gothitelle's matchup at all. Uh, this is a, an offensive one and that's not what Gothitelle likes to see, period. However, Eveltal is a great lead. Yeah, that's a fantastic lead. I'll just foul play. Oh man, is that screens? That did nothing. I feel like that screens. Nope, just taunts. So rocks don't matter as much um, as Xerneas is checked by my Necrozma. Because I'm max for death. Oh, I knew that double was going to happen, man. Because you're gonna, you should set up. I'm actually gonna go for Toxic here, as I'm in the back. Hey, lovely. Unfortunately, you get an SD up after, huh? Well, it could just be Eruption. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Gothitelle does nothing, and if he wants to try and set up on me, that's completely fine. Otherwise, uh, I'll basically be able to charm him. Scarf Xerneas is good in checking a few of them, but yeah, we'll just charm. I'm assuming your HP is though. But I'll, I'll live one at this range. I'll also live... I don't want to Dragon Dance because I don't think... If he has HP ice, I'm not going to live two hits. Okay, I'll try and Dragon Dance. Why not? He's thinking. No, no I'm not sure. Because if he is HP ice, I'll live two hits. I mean, if he is, just press his blades. Um, I'll eat the second one because of my father form. Which is really nice. And uh, after the next DD, I will. I should definitely be faster uh, than you. But there's no point in me risking not being faster when I can just go for thousand arrows myself. Yeah. So go for thousand arrows. Knock out Groudon. Beautiful. Um, you can't see it, but I do have Father Form. As far as Zemons go, either Rayquaza or uh, Necrozma, I think. 
My dragon tail. Is it life orb? I think it's sash. <sighs> this gets hard because like his alternate cosmic can set up on me. It's like I didn't thousand arrows there. Uh, I probably should have, um, but I thought that because Rakaza can easily set up, like no matter what. I feel like this dude's gonna double. I actually need chip on you anyway. Like I need more for, cause that's offensive. Like I need more for Sucker Punch. Yeah, he did double too, perfect. So that's awesome. Um, and it was Sash Ray, so I'm glad that I was able to break it Sash. He might even stay in and try and go for an attack. That, that, that damage was like really crucial. Cause I need to put Necrozma in range of Sucker Punch. Um, this still will knock out uh, Lucario as well, and it'll do a ton to Xerneas. And if he does go Xerneas, I attack and then switch. I'm like letting my Xerneas, uh, my Necrozma answer skip. He can go. How am I beating Lucario? Okay, I, I, I have to Moonblast. Like, I have to put you in Sucker Punch range. I wish I was speedy on this hoe, man. I think Koho is the play. Okay, I feel like it's the one that allows the least to come in. But if he is ultra across me, he's gonna ultra burst right now. But then I get to sucker punch knock him out, guaranteed. So, no. But then I'm losing to the car. I'm, I'm not sure, because the car can always switch out to Xerneas, and with rocks up, I'm more pressured. So I still stand by that Moonblast play. Because if he set up, I lost basically. If he was SD max speed, I lost. Um, because I would have to outplay the Z, which would knock out. Um, he wouldn't be in sucker punch range basically if I didn't Moonblast, uh, which I don't even know if he's in sucker punch range now. Yeah, this is either Ultra Cosma or Z, uh, since Rikaza was Sash. I should thousand arrows the Ray, maybe. What I should have done, I think, was gone to Velton and risk the Fire Blast. Cause now I get to Z something, but like I'm gonna lose to Luke. I don't see how I don't lose to Luke. Maybe if Luke chokes and lets me hit it twice. Or if he goes Luke right now and doesn't knock me out. I mean if he goes uh if he goes Xerneas, my play is to I think no, recover doesn't do anything. Because if I recover then go Yeah, I have to Z him. So you Geomancy, uh, the Z move guarantees the damage for a defensive Necrozma to knock out uh Defensive Xerneas. I go for Sacred Fire here as he goes for Thunder. Oh, well, he threw right there by right, going for Thunder. He should have Moon Blasted. Huh. Let me, I'm, I'm gonna try something because I think that I need extra damage on Lucario in order to uh, to win. So I don't. I want to scout the damage he can do. Cause I feel like every bit of chip will matter. So if I dodge right here, I get up rocks. Like even though that's like 3% on Luke, it might matter. I mean, if I dodge in general. Because what I'm hoping is that Lucaro will actually go for SD. Uh, and I stun still strike, he's forced to close combat me. Yeah, I could have gotten up rocks, man. Uh, but then he probably would have risked thunder if anything, but. It's forced to close combat. There's no way it's in range of Sucker Punch after, right? No, we roost. You don't SD because I foul play into... I foul play knock you out. You have to close combat. I literally foul play knock you out. If he has to close combat, then I just go for foul play anyway. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Because off the, on the off chance that he does go for SD. Yeah, why did I ro almost roost there? Good game, dude. 
Yeah, what? Like, if he close combats, I knock him out, and if he has these, I knock him out. Yeah, what, what was I thinking there? I almost threw that away. Cool. So, uh, nice. When Katie passes a team, let's see what Katie's has to offer. Which one does Katie have to offer? Uber's father. Father. Katie has, uh... Dragon Dance Sub Thousand Arrows, same set with Spadef, Rock Polish Groudon, Geomancy Xerneas, Garf of Veltal, and Mixed Kyogre. Nice. So, again, just more offensive uh, with support. Like, the cross is so good because it, it, it literally does not care like, about Xerneas. I love that. How they made a Pokemon that just doesn't care. Dragon Dead Zygarde can potentially check uh, Salamence. Love my ground on this game. Also a fan of my Kyogre in this game too. I'm actually going to lead off with it because I think he'll lead a Veltal. Or Mence, that's fine too. And I literally get to Ice Beam this thing and knock it out. I'm assuming because Kyogre is such a big threat to my opponent. That's a shiny Kyogre, that's really cool. He might just attack me. Arceus Fairy, Rocks, it's either that or Rocks Necrozma, nice. So I don't mind him wisping me considering Necrozma has no purpose in this game at all. Uh, and I'd rather get up Rocks to uh, pressure Mench, pressure Zygarde. Hmm. I'll Toxic again because like I said, this mod has no presence, like it doesn't do anything in this game. And if he's Scarf, he U-turns anyway. Or just knocks off my goodness. Like I said, that mod had no... Like, it didn't do anything in this game. So, I'm okay with that. Especially because I think I'm going for a game with Rock Polish Groudon. That did so much damage. Like a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, I obviously got a crit. So next time I Geomancy up, uh, it's a dead Necrozma. Unless he's just SD Morning Sun, which he very well could be. I'll just Ultra, as he Sun Steel Strikes. Uh, the Z move should bot me. I'm gonna switch, and I think... After... Set up a Geomancy? No, I should be in Special Thief range. Do I have a safe Geomancy set up? Yeah, that's the light that burns the sky. Uh-huh. Doesn't matter. We'll go for Oblivion Wing here. Uh, the Arceus is not to it, I think, but... I don't think it'd be to it, uh, It's at 64. If this does 33, then... Yeah, 31... I mean, we can go off a roll here, even though Smon's really important. Because at worst, yeah, he just did that, so. I'm getting Groudon now. I'll Rock Polish, uh, because if you go, I think Mence would be an initial, so I'd go Mence first, basically. I think I'd go Mence over Kyogre, especially because I can press his blades here, so that's Fire Punch. I like how Necrozma's in range of HP Ice. He actually went a hard ogre. Are you just defensive ogre? Like if I if I attack Okay, so all this chip is important for late game, but yeah, he's just the same Kyogre as me. He just happens to win a speed tie. I think this is my best play anyway, uh, to attempt to rock polish up, yep. Because I can HP Ice, if he goes back on a Kyogre, I'm actually forced to sack and then come back in and switch, and then try and Geomancy from there, but because he went Mence, um, ideally he just throws it away. I don't see Zygarde putting in work with the Arceus, and I don't see opportunities to set up with it. 
Yep, there goes Mence, good beat. I still take a hit from Marshadow. And he has no longer a way of uh, weakening my attack, so um, I think we just sack Zygarde here. Yeah, didn't do anything. I rock polish one more time, um, even though Earthquake is going to hurt. It won't knock me out. Uh, but I always rock polish here because it it it, it forces the... God, I, I can't talk. <laughs> it forces the... Um, if he doubles, basically, it forces the rain to be gone, which is what I want. I think Fire Blast is actually my play right now. I'm going to do it. Because hey, if I get a burn, no, I thought I spoke it to life. Good fort. I don't feel like I got a Z, a Geomancy versus anything. How much does he even do? Nothing. I'm the Yeah, we win. <laughs> we for sure win right here. All right, nice. That's, uh, because that's, yeah, this Xerneas is super defensive. So that's why, like, I kept doubling, I, I kept switching and, and bringing it back in because I needed to make sure that Rain was gone so Xerneas could Geomancy up, but, and, and Rocks being up too is awesome. Because even if he sacks uh, Arceus to try and default, let's say for some reason Arceus lives even after Rocks, even though a modest plus two and boosted by my own ability, I don't think Arceus lives, but let's say it does. You Scarf, dude? It has to be Scarf. I think it's Scarf knock off of Veltal. Yep, Sneak. Could be... Goes to Veltal, he bluffs the Sucker Punch. Is it Banded to Veltal? Ah, it's Banded! No! GG. So, I guess my play there was to go for another Geomancy, but like, even then he could potentially outplay me with it. Unfortunate. Um... So Nebula Rider also passed my team. Let's go with that. Ah, uh, it was... It had to be Bandit, I guess, because that's the only reason it knocked out Necrozma. That's why I, like, valued Toxic on that thing, too, because I knew that my Veltal would be decent late game. Um, Toxic Leech, Seed Feral Thorn, Rock Polish, this. Stealth Rock, Spadef. Arceus Water, Ice Beam, and Judgment. Toxic this. Wait, do we have not have... We don't have Defog in a whole team. Wow. Love Groundium Z and Zygarde in this. If I can set up on... Out on that'd be great. I'm actually gonna lead off with it because I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's just a great lead. I don't see a reason not to Dragon Dance immediately. If he switches out to support Arceus, I just go Feral Thorn. And by Dragon Dancing immediately, I actually threaten something like Kyogre. Okay, so that was the one reason not to Dragon Dance immediately because my opponent crit presses Blades me turn one. Awesome. Awesome. I'm actually gonna I'm like I'm actually at the point where I'm gonna go right back for the potential speed tie. That that sucks. That absolutely sucks because that means that Zygar went in and I missed my first blade. Crimmy back. Yep. Alright. We're actually are gonna use a team one more time. Um we we're gonna just use a team one more time. I really do value rocks versus this guy. Ground is just so nasty to lead. Wow, I, I have to lead Zygarde in this case. Arceus' uh, role is the KO. Salamence can deal with this. There's like 40 to it if it's offensive or judgment. I'm just going to 1,000 arrows and not get greedy this time. Because obviously last time I got greedy by getting crit. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I should still outspeed. So, nice. We 2 a kill Groudon. Great for my support, Necrozma. As uh, not anything on this team can Oko me now. And we also prevent rocks, I'm assuming. You have to be HP Ice, right? That's like the only way. Or Life Orb or something. There we go. Get a free Judgment here, too. Hitting Kyogre. Lovely. And I can easily go out to Feral Thorn. Start Leech Seeding up, and he has no switchings. I didn't want to go Groudon because obviously Earthquake was uh, a problem, so. Got my Leech Seed. 
Salamence, this deal with Mence. So that, now we know that's mixed Kyogre for sure. Uh, Necro um, Ferrothorn should end up at about 90 something percent, provided this connects. Lovely. So the great thing about things like this, yeah, that <laughs> man, I'm, I'm gonna use it one more time because I didn't even get, I didn't even get to use it this time either. I know I said I wasn't gonna use things one more time, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are thirteen teams. We can, I think we can go through every single team. I feel like we can. Yeah, we have. It's only been about an hour, and we went, we went through most of them. I don't mind it being a little bit over three, uh, two hours either. It's not a big deal. Oh, I love Nagana Dell, and I do not like it versus this team because this is scary. Uh, but again, once again, love Zygarde as a lead. Uh, as he leads off with Groudon. Now, or excuse me, as he leads off with Kyogre. Now, this is Water Spout. This is bad, but if it's the mix one, that... okay, just go Fire Beam. Okay, so it could be mixed. I'm gonna spike up first before I, I normally would leech seed here because I think I get more out of it, but I think spike is better in general because that Kyogre is a giant threat. Like Kyogre is a ridiculous threat. And uh, that spike is gonna really help me pressure it for Zygarde later. Luckily I live that. There's Brave Bird here. This is he could have Stone Edge, but otherwise max attack life for Brave Bird is gonna 2 KO something with that spike up. Yeah, and he goes Kyogre too, so this is incredible. Because this is going to hurt Good B. And that spike was really important because I don't think I could have killed Kyogre otherwise. But and now we have to deal with Kyogre. I love Rock Polish Ground on this team. His entire team is grounded. Nagana Dell comes out. Just get in Necrozma right here. I'm not gonna let you pick off your KO with Draco or anything. Maybe I'll try a nasty plot. I'll be smart. Or aggressive, but. Ooh, and I have Earthquake too. That's amazing. That's actually incredible too. I like this a lot because I don't allow Lucario in for free and I don't allow Groudon in for free. And plus, I'll KO Nagana Dell. So, oh, all this damage is so cool. I like it. I can respect it. That damage is fire. I'm faster than Arceus. I'm gonna get in hold just to throw it away so I can set up with my Zygarde. Again, I got a hole, just throw it away. Um, I guess the two Fire Blast misses didn't matter. So we got rid of Groudon. That's what I want to set up on with Zygarde, to be honest. But it's fine. It's fine. It didn't, it didn't, I didn't get to, but I mean, now I can kind of just Fire Punch everything I feel. Life for Lucario, man. Crazy mark. This is Brave Bird here. Is he BPs? I think it's just SD, a BP, so now we can Dragon Dance and hit up my Ground MZ on something. Ooh, and still gave me Father Form. Not bad. I am in. So they shall all fall to my Thousand Arrows. One. Who next? No way it's Scarf Noggin Adele. It could be Scarf Zern, but I don't care. I'm clicking Tectonic Rage. This is plus one Z. Hey, my Z move came with Xerneas too. That's awesome. Now, if it's E Killer, I have to Dragon Tail. It's Arceus flying. That did nothing. It spatial rendered me. Wait, what? Why did it spatial rend me? Literally my best answer right now is Groudon. Um, I can actually afford to Rock Polish. It's just straight up offensive. Yeah, I can afford to Rock Polish because all I gotta do is Fire Punch. I don't think I'm in danger at all of losing to Naga Nadella just because I have a max Bedef Necrozma. So I'll just Fire Punch twice right here. Uh, if he knocks me out with Draco or Z, that's completely fine. Do I have Earthquake? Okay, I thought I had Earthquake for a second. Yep, so we just Fire Punch for the 2 KO. The air slash. Wait, what? Come on, man. Like, your team looked promising. Good game. Alright. Nice. TPB. Let's go again. So, his team has Stadium Z Zygar, which is cool for obviously Xerneas. 
uh, and Arceus Fairy. Um, really, really, really cool team on my opponent's part. It might actually be Arceus Fairy. Actually, no, Arceus Water makes sense too, but because he has Giratina, it might actually be Arceus Fairy. So basically, Giratina, what I mean by that is Giratina is a soft check to Kyogre. Um, so it could be Arceus Fairy as he doesn't have an answer to a Veltal besides Klefki. Uh, he has like a bunch of... Yo, of course he has... Of course he has that when I have... Uh... When I have Arceus Dark. But I like Necrozma as a lead. Actually, I like Zygarde as a lead too. I'll leave Necrozma because I want Rocks up. And if he leaves Lopunny, this is better for me. So I can get my Rocks up versus this. Um, obviously, Giratina is a, you know, a problem to me. But fake me out. It's a nice chip. Does High Jump Kick 2 a kill on me? I know power up punch and high jump kick might. That's all right though. I prefer rocks to um, to put things in range of Zygarde. So what I need, the conditions I need are, um, I think about fifty percent off on Giratina because otherwise I'm not KOing it. Though my Z move might uh, at fifty, but I do need about fifty percent off on Giratina, which I think I could do uh, with. I think I actually have to go. What is your role? You don't do much there. I'd rather perform. Again, like when I see these mons don't do much, I rather. I think I make the correct play by doing what I do there. Um, I rather weaken them as much as possible. Now, I do have Rock Tomb Overheat, which is actually great for weakening Giratina. Uh, I hate to reveal my Arceus type, but. I think it is the play now. Because it also deals with Toxic and whatnot, too, and it just goes for Fire Punch. Which does a lot. So I'm assuming you might try and go... So now Groudon's in range of plus 1,000 arrows. That's a fact. Uh, no matter what type of Groudon it is, it is. Surprise, he's just going for Fire Punches there as opposed to just going Hard Klefki. I feel like you get more out of that. All you're doing is weakening your uh, Groudon to a neutral 1,000 arrows. Lopen, he comes out. We get an, and also like look how good Scarf Xerneas is now. Groudon's two a KO to poison. He got the keys. Fix me out. I'll just Moonblast here. Don't gotta worry. Also, that chip is so good for Zygarde, man. Any of that that rock chip, man. It might not look like it's that good, but it is so good for Zygarde. So like I said, this should be two a KO with poison. Yep, guaranteed. I don't know why he didn't decide to go uh, Klefki there, um, but instead decided to throw away his Rocker, especially if he feels pressured at a point um, to go for the uh, Defog. Maybe he's trying to set up with SDRC so if he has that, and it's not actually... Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Whatever. I get in Groudon now, and I throw off Overheat, which is one of the conditions that I need for uh, Zygarde to win. As he misses Toxic, so that's even better for me. So I literally throw off an Overheat, and I do about 40 something percent to Giratina. Couple that with Rocks damage. This is so good. Yeah, Zygarde is looking nasty now. Oof! And I can easily go RC as Dark here. So that's the condition that I need for plus one uh, Zygarde. Giratina goes down. Again, I'm still assuming it might be RC's Fairy, but maybe it won't, considering he has uh, Klefki. recover. I don't think I'll die to Draco. It's gonna hurt, but I don't think I'll die to it. As he misses Draco. I'm super unfortunate, too. So I end up at 100. I, I would have recovered again. And like I said, I would have lived it, but... Oh, yep. Yep, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm just getting all excited with all this damage, man. I jump kick... Krasma's not important. I already mentioned this mon is not important. So I don't I don't see a, anything wrong with me going for Morning Sun here. Yeah, in case that was a roll or something. I think I'm on the ground on, click my overheat, get my KO. Whether it be on Garatina or Eveltal, again, or, or Lopany, either anything is good. I'm not sitting up on Lopunny because it could have Ice Punch. 
There we go. Good B Garatina. Is it actually Arceus Fairy? Veltal comes out first. This is why I have Arceus Dark. That's another condition that I needed. Rocks on the Veltal for. And it's life or Revelta too, so yeah, it'll die. It'll die now, for sure. The fact that I have Combine is so good too. Did he taunt? Ooh. I mean, this is boost. I, I literally don't need Arceus Dark for anything but this, so. Uh, I don't mind getting off some chip for my Xerneas to come in after. Like, all, all, I'm, I'm not, I might not be doing much, but that life or pit, again. This life orb hit is so important, man. As then, a Veltal guaranteed dies the plus 1,000 arrows. And I'm saving my Z because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming... Actually, it could just be E-Killer. To be honest, it might just be E-Killer. But I have max defensive Veltal and I have rocks up, which is super important for uh, KOing E-Killer too. So I'm assuming you... Uh, double? Or you go Klefki, excuse me, and then maybe double after? Nope, just throws away a belt all. Beautiful. I didn't have to double there. I'm not the one that's in that's pressured. Alright, I'm gonna get a little bit uh So I can defog uh, if I wanna get rid of the rocks, because I have my own rocks. Uh, no I don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna go uh Zygarde and actually just attack what's in front of me. Um, the reason I'm thousand arrowing is because I'd rather get rid of Klefki if possible, uh, and Scarf Xerneas is super good anyway. And if it is, um, if it is Arceus Fairy, I guess maybe I would have regretted not Dragon Dancing there. But because we got rid of Klefki, Ice, um, and I have Defog in the back, so I'm not worried. And defensive Xerneas, or excuse me, defensive uh, Evelta, I'm not worried at all. Lope comes out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think uh, I KO him back. I, I don't think I'm faster than him. Uh, 264 times 1.5 is definitely not faster than 405. So... So I can't Dragon Dance is what I'm saying. Oh, I just barely missed out on the KO too. That's unfortunate. That has to be E-Killer then, right? The way it's being played, it has to be E-Killer. Uh, but anyway, Lopani cannot switch out, and Modest Moonblast does way too much to Arceus to, to, to let him come in. And uh, again, I think it, it's E-Killer now and not Arceus Fairy. If it was Arceus Fairy, I'd be sad, because I didn't get to obviously use the Zygarde. It's Arceus Rock. I think I spam Moonblast here. And then get in my, uh... I think I spam move ass again. And go for a drops. Maybe I'm... Come on, man. Why is it Arceus Rock? You are pretty whole weak. Man, Zagar would have been so nasty. Like, I'm literally going for drops, I think, at this point. He keeps recovering on turns that he shouldn't be. He should be calm winding up. So he can knock out my, uh... My grout on. But he's also playing the game of me critting him. Yo, I have not gotten... This is 30%. This is a skull burn. What's happening? Man, why is it Arceus Rock? Like, I understand how nasty ho is versus him, but... At this point, I'm just going for a crit. I lost. I should just Dragon Dance in front of Klefki. I won if I did. Especially because he went for Spike. Like, I guarantee he won if I did. I'm, I'm, I'm forfeiting. Come on, man. That was my bad. But Arceus... Oh, so you basically passed me a Porygon Z team. <laughs> of course, I get the Dialga... I get the Dialga Magirna user when I use Porygon Z. 
Yo. Where is his switch into Kyogre? And I'm sub Dragon Dance Protect, which is awesome. Man, that has to be Dragonium or like Earth Power, like Shuka Earth Power or something. Dialga, like he's too weak to both of these Pokemon. I am, I have no reason to not overheat here. I'll blow back Arceus Grass, which I'm glad that it's revealed that's Arceus Grass. So, um, Toxic on any of my Mons? No. Arceus Grass is a problem. Please give it to me immediately. Thank you. Thank you. That was a big problem for my Zygarde. So because I'm sub Dragon Dance, um, any damage on Giratina is going to be nice. I'm going to switch out into my Arceus and attempt to Willow. I think no, you'd bring in you'd bring in Ho if anything. I feel. Oh, okay, cool. So I, I, I even though you're right here, I obviously can't touch you. What well, judgment again, as opposed to Willow Wisping? Get you on my gear now. Okay, cool. Flare Cannon is probably gonna blow me back. I think Groudon needs it though. Mm hmm. A little bit of damage on this. We'll overheat one more time. Eh, rocks are better because I forced the defog as he gets in Ho. And I think Kyogre is going to pick up its KO after, so I'm going to roar as I get in Dialga. And we're just going to go throw off uh, an overheat one more time. Dialga should be faster. This is his only Kyogre answer, by the way. Giratina doesn't count. Dialga does. Wisp. Because uh, chip damage on Dialga means that even if it's Shuka, after a couple of boosts I can beat it. And ideally burning Magirna means that I'll be able to overpower it. I'm hoping anyway. <sighs> now I'm actually not going to switch. Man, I'll switch. Fine, but I feel like you have Volt Switch. I don't know if this user has Volt Switch. Just Flare Cannons. Okay, Leech Seed is still the best play. As my opponent opts to go Ho and not Giratina. So that gets me in Kyogre, which is in the position I wanted, but not necessarily because I, I didn't want to bring it in. Oh, it's just Defog this. Okay. Well, I'm liquidating no matter what. I'm 436 attack, whatever. It's it's still my play. Um, give me some damage on Giratina, please. I very much like damage on Giratina. I'm really surprised you Shadow Force, considering what I have. Oh, that is some beautiful chip. Oh, and I'm assuming to be a Thunder. Z. Goodbye. Okay, that's fine. I think uh, we still need a hit. I think we might just lose to Mewtwo though. <laughs> oh man, if I would have known it was Z and not like Shuka, I would have just Earthquake there initially. Come on, man. And I'm faster too. Okay, so give me Mewtwo thankfully. So it'll, I'll, I'll take like 10 million, but I'll live one and I'll knock it out with Liquidation. So Zygarde's still looking good. Well, Zygarde might not be looking as good. Help. Chapel. Chapel. The chapel help. I don't think I'm gonna knock him out with Gyro Ball though. Are you ice punch? You ice punch, bro? I mean, Drain Punch is gonna hurt regardless. Yeah. Yeah, I got blown away by this Mewtwo. That Mewtwo actually 6 0 my entire team, thinking about it, because I had Arceus Dark, Porygon Feral. That's alright. I got blown away. Good game, dude. I forgot. To, I always forget. Whatever. 
I just get out of there immediately. Got him Z Glare. Stealth Rock. I like Giratina as a lead, as I feel like, oh man, I feel like if I go Giratina though, I'm gonna lose to, Im like immediately, to E Killer. Why'd you leave, bro? Come back. Cause that's definitely E. Cause Arceus Ghost doesn't exist. His Rabbit Spin doesn't really exist much outside of like extra drill. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I like Giratina Hex twice the uh, Deoxys, as I'm assuming a Taunt comes out. Uh, ideally, Taunt comes out first, so my opponent is limited to Stealth Rock. Um, the Xerneas is checked by my Metagross plus my Groudon. I think I have double defaults on this team, too. No, just one. Okay. So I O code with Hex. Uh, that's okay, that's great. I can defog at a point. Now it's just the thing is, the Xerneas can come out and if it wants to, it can very easily double. It goes immense though. So I'm actually going to defog first so my Draco doesn't miss. Because if he does opt to Dragon Dance, first off I'll eat uh, Double Edge, barely, but I will. And uh, I'll land a Draco after because of his defog. What are you doing, dude? Are you just trying to set up? He has to just be trying to set up for Arceus. Like, there's no way he's not. But I, I probably got the best two turns possible. Not only did I get rid of rocks, but... And I can... This can't even kill me either. What is he doing? Sir? Oh, you're dodging. Okay. Wow, I would have gotten the best three turns possible. Wow, I would have gotten literally the best three turns possible. And probably not lost to this Necrozma. I hope you live this. I glare uh, first off, so a Veltal is opened up. Um, yeah, incredible. I can't believe my opponent like threw away everything, but I missed twice. Can I still win this? I don't even know if I can still win this. I cleared my opponent good, but... I don't know if I can still win this. E-Killer? Possibly? RC is ground. It is a wrap. Hmm. I have to overeat so you don't get a free sub. Uh, foul play knocks you out, but I, I'm not going to beat the Groudon <laughs> is the problem. Like, I'm not going to beat Groudon. I'm literally going to lose the Groudon. So I thought play here, uh, because I got the plus, because he's plus two and I got the toxic off. Because thought play doesn't oko from full uh, boosted Arceus, um, I was actually able to take him out there. And the dude leaves, but I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back. There's no way you still have a full HP growl and a Xerneas. You literally are able to Geomancy up. I have to go Metagross. I live a plus two hit. I knock you out with Iron Head into BP. And then he brings in his uh, his Groudon, which I'm then forced to. to I actually have to toxic. Because uh, Earthquake won't do enough to like, if he's like Fire Blast SD, I, I basically, if he if he dual dance anyway, I have to Toxic to then Earthquake after, to then Bullet Punch, and then try and play some turns around with Fire Punch and whatnot. I've never seen a HO <laughs> throw it away so quickly, but just, just get it back. <laughs> I thought that maybe what he was doing was um, forcing the drop on me so he could bring in... We, I think he won because he's not coming back. But like I said, I thought what he was doing was forcing the drop on me so he could set up with Arceus. But then it ended up being Arceus ground and not E-Killer. Whatever. Then we won with Felipe's team. I don't care. I'll take it. PZ, yo. Let's go. Uh, so this next team, pretty similar to what we've I mean, been using thus far, but it's Dragonium this time. Uh, which is really, really, really nice for his Avelto, actually. So we're Dragonium, Dragon Dance, uh, Coil, Mix Kyogre, Do -do. Curse Ho. I like that. That's really cool. Do you know, nice, these All right, I'm gonna leave Kyogre. 
this is the best lead matchup I've ever asked for. This this is literally that little gif of Groudon versus Kyogre. Groudon saying he can take on Kyogre like when it's on a little patch of land with Kyogre in the entire seat. This is actually the best thing about how it... Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what to think about that. That was, that was cool. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that one. So the Zygarde double deals with if he wants to go back on the ground on, on the Thunder, or if he goes for Thunder himself. So now you go for Ice Beam, right? liquidates all right not a fan of that turn um but obviously it so after all this i'm gonna have to go back out to kyogre and click thunder man i don't like that i hate sacking to do something like that but he thankfully gives a thunder off please no good 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 at least give me rocks that's all in the cross i had to do this game that is literally all in the cross i had to do this game so we'll go for thunder now i'm, I'm okay with that like it didn't have a role in this game at all uh if it's rcs Fairy, it doesn't matter either. And I'll just earthquake click this. Because I have uh, Curse Hollow, basically. Or Earthquake you. That's a solid 2 a KO, too. Yep. Lovely. I will gladly get rid of Groudon. Gladly. When I have a Geomancy Xerneas. And it's offensive Necrozma 2 on his team? Hell yeah. Is it uh, Scarf of Elto on this team? Or it's Leftovers Sucker Punch? Good, good, good. That's, that's, that's good too. Man, Liquidation does not run max speed. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe you run max speed. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Marshadow comes out. Are you HP Ice, dude? I don't think I had a play, though, because I feel like if I went a Veltal, I got blown away by HP Ice in the close combat because of Technician. You know what? I don't even need Rock no more. I got a, I got a full HP Curse Holo. There we go. I do not need rocks anymore. Full HP curse hall. I just roost everything. And there's no way that he has bulk up because he's uh special is his last move. So that's awesome. I'm fine. I, like I wanted rocks, but now that it's not uh, Sash Marshadow, because that's always what I'm paranoid of. Um, and the fact that my ho gets to come in and it's curse ho too. You calm mine, dude? I'll just, it is combine, but yeah, I can easily go ho now. He doesn't be ho. That's so awesome. As he goes a Veltal, um, Sacred Fire. Ooh. Hey, go ahead and give me a burn so my ho can beat this later. Nope. Unfortunately, not the case. Nick Resma. I think that what we do, I think between these two, I'll beat uh, a Veltal. Okay. I still believe my play is to roost stall you uh, as you're literally life orb. Let's we'll sucker punch right now. Perfect. So we end up at 100%. Marshadow's gone, so he can't steal my thieves. Uh, he can't thief my boosts. Excuse me. And I literally recover off what he does. And then knock him out with foul play. I mean, Sacred Fire, excuse me. Land. Is that Bandy? Like, what the hell? Why are you doing so much damage to me?
I'm actually gonna Geomancy here because I don't think it makes a difference. Like if he goes Necrozma, um, Thunder might just Oko it. And I don't even have to Thunder. I just oh, wait. What? What? The, what's that Moonblast roll? <laughs> what? Cause I was just trying, thinking that yeah, I just put in range of Sucker Punch and I'm good. And my Curse Ho beats RC's Ground. Good game, dude. What was that Moonblast roll? Neutral did 31. That had to be like a high roll, like a super high roll. Goose Egg, first McGear of the day, I believe. Chestal Berry, Thousand Arrows of Stream Speed, Coil Rest. Okay, Spide Adamant, but with Spideff Investment. Uh, Marshadium Z, we have Defensive Groudon. Yeah, how many times have I said defensive ground? Anybody trying to clip that in like the entire series? An Ice Beam Toxic Arceus. Okay, okay, okay. I can deal with this. I think we're almost to 1500 too, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we suffered some losses. Uh, we can actually check our rank. Why not? This was somebody else's account, and I stole it and put a password on it. We're only 1356. Yeah, this was. Wait, what? Okay, this was somebody else's account. I just I just put the, the name Hello Father and I, I yo yo whoever had Hello Father, I am so sorry, dude, but 96 random bass 1109? Come on bro, luck couldn't have been that bad. I am so sorry, dude. I did not mean to steal from you. He's gonna glare me with his he actually has a legit team, like, besides Amolga. It's just anti-lead stuff, right? It is Glare, and this Gligar. I'm getting mad. This is a legit team. I don't, like, those are all Pokemon you can use. I think Amolga is literally just Nuzzle anti-lead for Sigiwe, but... It died. <laughs> this is a legit team, though. Uh, I love Scarf of Elta on this. It's gonna be able to check Mewtwo, be able to check Palkia. Yeah. No, sir. You have Taunt? I mean, you very well should have Taunt if you're uh, Dragon. Unfortunately, you are still slower than me. So not only do I break your potential sash, but I'll be able to defog always. And I am not getting glared for no reason. That is a play. What do you think Arceus Water runs, bro? It's either Judgment or Ice Beam. There's no in-between. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Even if it's sub-toxic, uh, my Dragon Dance Zygarde will beat it because I'm rest. That's awesome. It's not even crazy, that's just awesome. Why would he go hard Glide Score there? Like, it's either Ice Beam or Judgment is my play. <laughs> or Recover, obviously. Oh god, are you Z-Ho Block? Thankfully, that did nothing. He still might be Z Hill Block. Uh, but I'd always run Fire Blast on Z Hill Block just because it. Oh, never mind. He's just oh, spare paralysis support. I'd always run Fire Blast on Z Hill Block just because it does 96% minimum to Magirna, whereas Flamethrower is not. It probably does like 102 max. Uh, just based on the fact that it did 46, it probably does 102 max at plus 2. So I'd always run uh, Fire Blast. This dude keeps switching on, like from his super effective tax into his super effective. Groudon is like my only play. Do ball strikes, I'll attempt to get up rocks if possible, because I feel like Dredagon dies. No. I'm not switching. Okay, I guess I am switching. <laughs> Sorry, it's too late. Thank you for telling me that after the turn ended. 
Okay, so, um, Marsh at all. Can I... Yo, Glare is the most broken thing. Don't care what anybody says. Marsh Shadow can win. Um, after a bulk up, Shadow Sneak will be able to knock out Mewtwo. So that's really nice. And I can Z move the uh, the gear, uh, the Glide Score. Let's uh, let's see what he what he wants to do with this. I'm a U turn. Um, even if it was, I think it's Scarf. Like being like how he's playing it based on how he's playing it. Let me ice beam here. I'm not even gonna bother recovering because I, I obviously can't get those off. Okay, now we're gonna try to recover. So I can always come in on Palkia and I can always come in on Mewtwo. He is really throwing this away. He's really throwing away Glass Core. It's crazy. I'm toxic him because he always protects every other turn. Yeah, and why waste ice beams when I don't need to? Is he not sub? What's his last move? Where's the defog, dude? This guy is giving me more trouble than everybody. Hey, and I credit too, so I don't even have to get full pair next turn. Beautiful. No rocks for you, ma'am, sir. Whatever. This is the only thing stopping him from saying bolt trick. Actually, no, I have this too. I can go grab him. But I didn't go with Veltal. Though he's in range of Dark Falls because he took rocks damage, so I'm not sure if this is uh, best for him. Are you just spadef on Gliscor? Yeah, because because of rocks damage, Dark Falls knocks him out guaranteed. This Zekrom is going to be 2 a KO'd. I think I'm timid nature. Yep. So I'll guarantee I'll speed it even if it's Scarf. You can give me Zekrom. Uh, I obviously knock out Mewtwo after rocks too because again, I, like, you do like 90 something percent. In an hour and a half. We're, we're doing it, guys. Palky come, Palky, <laughs> Palky comes out. You hide your pumper space around here, huh? Oh, well, I'll have to, to do that attack. Probably just into the full pair because the Thunder Wave charges the full pair. Oh no, I guess it didn't. Oh, good for me. <laughs> hey, and then I can Volt Switch on the uh, the Mewtwo if he goes that. He probably will attempt to charge beam up on me. Just ice beams immediately. Whoa. That is the damage I needed for Dark Pulse. And he goes hard glide score. You know what? I want to win with this mon. I want to win with this mon. I believe I need two. I believe I need two to KO Mewtwo. Because Mega Mewtwo Y doesn't have the best defense. Ooh, for nice and greedy third. I don't know why I did this. Like, he obviously was not beating me. But now I'm gonna stall this Glide Score out instead. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go and go for all your earthquakes. I really don't know why I'm, I did this, but I did. I'll start looking for more. Abby passed me a team as well. Nice Abby team. I'm gonna get plus six. You know, it's crazy. He's gonna switch eventually. Like he might actually just switch right now, and I just like did this for no reason. I just wanted to use it. So Abby's team has uh, Glare, Stelium, Z, Dragon Dance, uh, with Mix Kai Ogre, Spadef Necrozma, Calmine, Earthplay, Arceus, uh, Scarf, Xerneas, and De Defog Ho Oh. Very much like um, this Pokemon in this game. Uh, because I do have these two, I'm actually going to lead off with it because I can glare immediately if you choose to leave Groudon, which actually doesn't match up too poorly versus everything on my team. Uh, I get a nice little glare off. So that's awesome. And my opponent forfeits here too, which is what I wanted. Presses his blades me immediately. Let's go ahead and start setting up on you. 
I got the glare off on ground, and that's just so important for Kyogre because now, no matter what, it won't outspeed me. Yo, ideally, as RC is fair, even though I don't think it is because he has, I think it's RC ground because um, he's pretty weak to opposing ground on. But then again, man, who knows? It might not be. Either way, we thousand arrows here, and we get some damage. And the great thing is, if it is RC's ground, and I get rid of it's RC's water. Well, Zygarde's gonna do its thing in glare. I actually rather toxic it, but I think Glare is good for Glare is good for Kyogre because Kyogre is so nasty in this. Abby. Cool. So Kyogre gets to come out and just click Thunder. Uh, actually, Earthquake is fine. Because it hits Groudon and it would KO. I don't think Thunder will KO Arceus Water anyway, but I'm pretty sure Earthquake into that will KO. Plus, it can get full parry here. So, Sasha Zygarde for the Glare. It's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. Shout out to Zygarde for the Glare. I might not actually beat that Arceus Water now. <laughs> I actually have to keep uh, Zern alive or any of them, these alive, because uh, Arceus is a problem. But at least we prevent rocks. And we'll more than likely be able to prevent Defog too. Because of the pair. I think the Arce is ground is stupid good in this. You go Marsh, I don't know. I go defensive Kyogre. I make Simi Ho. I, got the, I don't have the Brave Bird. Kengar. I guess that works too. Same thing though, I still always go Ho. Don't poison me with Sludge Wave. Oh yeah, Sludge Bomb. I can respect Sludge Bomb. So once again, I feel like my Necrozma is pretty useless in this game. Um, his lack of fairy type that has offensive pressure, meaning not Magirna, so meaning Arceus Fairy or... Uh, literally Arceus Fairy or uh, Xerneas, those are the two options that have offensive pressure. Um, he doesn't have either of them. Ugh, can't wait to get some lunch after this. You toxic? Oh, you are definitely defensive toxic, huh? I'll take your fire to nothing. It's not defensive toxic? What? Why'd you take 37% then? Why did you take 37%? Is that just max HP or a low roll sacred fire? Am I minus attack? No. You double here because there's, you don't say and you have gear enough. Yeah, thank you. So I get my rocks up. Get my beautiful rocks up. And then I get to bring out Kyogre and click Thunder. Go ahead and Volt Switch. Because that RC is, if it comes, you don't even know what Glare does. Glare is designed to paralyze. He should go Gengar actually over uh, anything else, I think. Um, but the more rock damage I have on Gengar, the easier it is to KO with Scarf Xerneas. Sun still strike you. Could be. Too bad I can't double after going ho oh. <laughs> but it'll be important uh, again to get that uh You got this Arceus in and get it paralyzed, because it will be paralyzed. It will be full paralyzed. You will be fully paralyzed. That's the power of glare. How? Thunder 2 KOs. 53, beautiful damage. Oh, lovely. Don't care what play he makes now because nothing on his team wants to take a Thunder. You go Gengar, then it dies. It probably dies. <laughs> oh, it died on too. You go Magirna, and I go for Liquidation after, which easily KOs. Um, Marshadow doesn't appreciate the damage on it. And if you give me Arceus Water, then we're good too. Nice, I get to go for liquidation. And then your switchings to Xerneas are questionable because Arceus Water dies. So I'm thinking he's double thinking about this play. Like he's thinking twice about it. We might just try and go with Velta on the Earthquake, but there's no way I go for it. Yeah, so not I'm really surprised there. It's Z Heal Bell. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you doing, dude? Like, why'd you Hold up, this is really good.
This is actually super good. Uh, cause Arceus Water is in range. You can't Volt Switch on me either. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Goodbye, Arceus Water. Nice. I guess Gengar and Willow, but then it dies. You could have Debon. Yeah, this is super good for Arceus. Arceus is looking kind of nice. Hold up. I mean, so is Ho now that Arceus water is gone. The fact that he got the... Uh, this, I, I'm, I can't believe he lived that liquidation, first off. 65? He lived on one. He lived on a little bit more than one. I still can't believe he lived that. I'm over liquidation because I'm pretty sure liquidation in the rain is stronger than earthquake. Maybe I'm wrong. Because earthquake is 100 doubled. And then liquidation is uh, 1.5 and then uh, plus one rain boost, basically. Oh, well, I guess the rain boost after. No, nah, liquidation is stronger. There's no way earthquake did that much. I know I'm right, but... I, if I'm wrong, I want to find out now. I have to be right. I play Pokemon too much. Wow, Liquidation is actually not stronger. It does around the same damage. Oh, okay. Wait, is Liquidation not 95? Is it 85? Okay. <laughs> I've been thinking liquidation is 95 the entire time. Okay. Did that even do anything? I think that would make a difference. Because I did 95 times 1.5 in, in the rain. Hmm. What's the idea here? I judgment to it KO you. Your flare cannon does nothing. You give me a Magirna way. Oh, it crits me with flare cannon. That's the uh, thought process there. That doesn't matter though. I uh, don't. I don't think you have pain split and heart and heart swap, so I'm gonna recover, get the drop, and that doesn't matter either because I'll still be able to. If he if I didn't if he didn't crit me, I didn't have to do this, but um, basically I should still be able to KO Gengar or just get the damage I need for Xerneas. So yeah, it's a. Uh, I think it's a win-win no matter what, especially because he just threw away the Xerneas answer. I don't think he expects me to be Scarf Xerneas. I have the rock from our shadow. The rock. Close combat, yeah. Now we say good fire. You have no switch ins. I don't think your Z is gonna do crap either. It gives me a Veltal, which should die, provided this connects. We haven't missed any sacred fires today, so yep. Nice. That's a dub. That is a dub. I hope he poisons me. Well, never mind. Can't even get me cursed body because you're Mega Gengar. Again, I still have Scarf from our shadow in the back. Good game, dude. I mean, Scarf has Xerneas in the back from our shadow. Nice. Let us keep going. Zero Z. Okay, this is a really fire team. This is a fire team. Did not mean to lead you. Cancel. Please tell me cancel button worked that time because it's been telling me no blah 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 you don't work. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's camouflage then headbutt. Psyche MZ with. <laughs> ah, this is so fire. I'm so excited about this. It's literally like dual screens plus this. Yeah, I'm so excited. Let's go. Easy light screen first. Then we get up our rocks. Man. Go ahead and give him my KO right now. I'm actually going back because I'm getting up my rocks and you will not stop me. It's unfortunate that the terrain is in a Veltal, but... It really is unfortunate that he has a Veltal. I want my rocks up though. It 
It is fortunate though that it's life orb. Look at this investment. It has facade. Yo, bump that. Who needs thousand arrows when you have facade? <laughs> oh man, I hope I get poisoned by your out on. Cause that's cool. Cause I camouflage into normal type, obviously. But nice, nice, nice. Why are you sucker punching in terrain? Man, I'm killing this thing. <laughs> this thing is a problem. I'm killing this thing. You can't even sucker punch. I don't know why I was doing that. But if you want to give me a belt, I'll take it. Is Lugia just default? I can't beat Lugia. Like, I can't beat Lugia. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Invalid choice. My bad. Didn't mean to cancel. I'm sorry. Please don't be default. What? Groudon? Where did you go? The hell did you go, Groudon? Reflect. I, I, reflect. Light screen. What the hell is happening here, man? Why am I growl on just hard switch? That did zero. Okay, Zygar, do your thing now, buddy. 24 is 40. You have Whirlwind too? I tried. I, I tried. Was he using Roost or... Uh, does that matter? He's a flying type. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. He's a flying type, yeah. This boy about to die. He had the one counter to my entire team, by the way. This is Lugia. This Lugia was the one counter to my entire team. You guys think Reflect Xerneas 1v1s the rest of his team? Oh, yep. Definitely a counter now. 100% a counter. Like, I'm already struggling as it is to beat this thing. There you go. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. Give me some justice. Boy, if you don't back up. <laughs> Reflect. <laughs> now Xerneas gained armor. Oh no, he crit me immediately. <laughs> That's actually better for me. Okay, Combine Arceus Grass, I need you to do this, buddy. You got Fire Blast and Judgment. And we got two turns to abuse this. I think BP's gonna kill me. But ideally, it doesn't. And my, my Combine Arceus Grass can do it. Your Metal Play boosted. Go grab on first. Or live the hit from Luke. I have I'm serious natured. I probably should be timid. Unfortunately, I'm slower than you. Yes. So I would have gotten that play had I been timid, still would have been slower. Oh my child. I'm slower than you too. But I'm not before I hit you with a shattered psyche. I'm actually gonna die. Wait. Rolls! Unfortunate. I tried zero. Alright, Kyle Murray passed me a team with a scarf chat out and apparently hit like 17 something with this team. 
Um, Scarf Shadow has Encore, and that's about it. I mean, I can understand why he hit 1700. He has a Glare Zygarde, and then like a bunch of good Pokemon. How far have I fallen? Can you hit 1400? Why does this dude have like the one mod that beats me too? <laughs> he has a horse, and I don't have overheat. That horse is a problem. He let off with it. Watch this play. Easy default. Easy default. I guess because I loaded up Chatot, they said, hmm. I'm gonna place this guy against Beedro offense. Beedro stall. That earthquake did nothing. <laughs> Are you rest is your last move? I should just start setting up his Zygarde, but like he has Roar. He roared me out his Zygarde. It's fine. I'm gonna chat on now. I don't care about rocks, honestly. Like Nice, 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 nice. Chatter! It didn't even KO. That's okay. It's okay, it's confused though. Hit yourself. I like that play. This dude uh, tried to get rid of my my rock, bro. I am scarf. Don't you dare disrespect chat. Go ahead and give me this beedro. That was actually a problem too. I'm glad it's gone. That mod could have been a problem. Hey, forfeit. Why is he going to everything that I guess is Techno Top? No, oh, it's not Techno Top. Is this Salt Vest? Getting another game with this team. This ain't the Carl Murray I know. Nice. I end up behind a sub and I win. Cool. This is more like it. A lot more like it. Ah, uh, Combine Arceus Fairy is really good. And I do not like. You gonna kill me? Yeah, you better. I, yo, Chata actually did a really good job because burning the Lumberry means provided this connects. And he went to another world. Perfect. I don't see a reason not to go Zygar here, just like I don't see a reason to go Zygar in this game. Curse goes through sub? Come on! You should be laying the curse on the doll, not anything else. Oh, this wait. I eat this, I become father, and he doesn't even KO me. Oh, you didn't even KO that. That's nice. I'm gonna keep getting greedy too. Because I, I have no attack investment, so I need as much attack as possible. This Arceus is set up water. Just curse go through sub, man. Okay, I'm going to lose to... Uh, to Ditto. Go Zygarde! You need more power! I don't, I still don't think I KO anything on his team. Hello Gengar. You can hex me. I feel wrong stone edging a Togekiss. Wait, if he copies this, he can beat me too.
Wait, what? That was like the, the, the wrong mon to go into. Hey, if you're gonna give me Groudon for no reason, I appreciate you. There you go. Shout out Zygarde's the way to go. That obviously is the best core. And Ryu. Ooh, I like this team. A little bit more offensive with Cloyster. Um, Focus Dash Cloyster with T-Spike. We have Sob, Glare, Z, Thousand Arrows, Zygarde. Love T-Spike in this game. Wish I was Liquidation, I might just lose to this month. Okay, so T-Spike up. Uh, Defogger is either Xerneas or um, Salamence. Probably Xerneas because it's probably Scarf on this type of team. Uh, good game, thank you. I'm okay with that. The cool thing about this thing is uh, you get like slow U-turns from Scizor into into things like Deoxys. It's like he brings in Groudon here, for example. Not only is it chipped away by my hazards, but U-turn as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, some nice, beautiful chip. I mean, he should go uh, out into Necrozma, but he doesn't. Uh, opts to throw away the Groudon, so that actually opens up a door for SD Scizor too. Surprisingly enough. Alright, so it's two left. Three left, excuse me. Rocks, that's 39. We actually recover first instead of getting up rocks, I think. So, Marshall is in range of plus two. Uh, I can Will O Wisp you. Um, and he can't even double on this mod either, so that's really cool. Yep, like I said, you don't double safely on this mod at all. I really wish I got up uh, the Will O Wisp, land of the Will O Wisp, but that's okay. Ops to give me Ments, so. Again, I got the T-Spec on the mod I needed. And I got my rocks up. And I get a burn on uh, Necrozma. So, uh, Salamence is gone. I get my rocks up. Get a burn on Necrozma. Awesome. Imagine Earthquake here. I don't even have to bother predicting. Why is this game still going on? Why is this guy still playing me? That boy had almost more points than me. Hard Mewtwo, which I disagree with completely because I, I, I literally win. With Mewtwo being gone. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to throw this thing away, though. I feel like the Oxus is the, uh, the sack. Cause I can be like I said I, I BP spam like I'm surprised you gave me Mewtwo that was the only thing I could take the BP goodbye so you BP um, Mewtwo dies to rocks um, Salamence dies to rocks surprised my opponent opted to save the 10% Mewtwo don't know what you're gonna do to me but I, I literally set up an SD and win this is what I'm talking about, like scissor wins, so. Go for plus four, just to guarantee the KO on even a bulky Xerneas. All right, so I didn't get to use Necrozma in that, but you got to see the coolness of U-turn scissor into something like Deoxys. Uh, the biggest misplay of my opponent's like, game uh, was easily sacking Groudon as opposed to going right back out into Necrozma Dusk Main. Uh, Groudon being gone and even giving me the opportunity to get rid of Mence meant that and giving me the damage on Mewtwo too Like I know I crit him with Earthquake, but even if I didn't crit him with Earthquake, it was in range of plus two So I don't think my opponent uh, recognized what they needed to win that game So my boy uh, Brainfly passed me a team too. We're, fi we're fighting some really cool teams. Like we're fighting jam vets. Um It's Magic Room Banded uh, Magic Room Banded What's it called? 
Magic Room banded Uxie. A Magic Room banded uh, Magic Room <laughs> into Dragon and Zygarde, and its choice banned Zygarde. So what I want here is actually um, to be able to get up rocks if I'm, if I'm able to. Uh, just to break the Shadow Shield on the Lunala. And then Dragon Dance up with my banded Zygarde. Uh, and then basically if I get plus one, I have my choice band boost on top of that after five turns. So I will take this opportunity to get up rocks, even though he can shook bury me or whatever. Because again, rocks are super important for breaking Shadow Shield. What is that? Devastating Drake. I die. Magic Room. Memento. Switch. Switch in the scissor. Don't drink on me. <laughs> it's roar of time. Oh, I love. Luckily, I take it. That's incredible too, because I get my two DDs and I get my choice band boost. That I won. So this will knock out Dialga, and now because Magic Room ends, I have my choice band back. Magic Room wore off, and Helldive Infects return to normal. So now I'm I'm back with a choice band, but I'm plus two speed. And I believe, yeah, that dude left. It's over. <laughs> that actually worked exactly how I wanted. I got off rocks to break Shadow Shield. I die. I get an Uxie. I get a Magic Room. I'm a Mento. I get in Zygarde. I Dragon Dance up. He actually, he made it better by having Roar of Time. And not, I understand Roar of Time too because the Roar of Time actually Oko's ground, I guess, apparently. Um, but that made it even better because now he can't kill me at all. Oh, that was so cool. I'm so happy that happened. And we were about to just get a full-on sweep, yeah, because plus two with a choice ban. Ooh, that was so cool. Alright, Lugia, follow it up with a cool team. So we have um, Rest, uh, Glare, Zygarde with ICMZ, ICMZ Beatdown, Combine Ogre, the Krosma does main. Ooh, 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 my opponent has a really cool team too. Why do they have a Lugia? Like, of all Pokemon for me to fight, Lugia. You have a bunch of offense and then uh, Magirna, which doesn't sap momentum because it has um, Volt Switch. And then Lugia. I'm leaving off with Mega Latias. Taking Draco Toxic everything. Arceus Dark. That is not a Pokemon I want to see here. Luckily, I'm actually fairy. I don't mind you toxicing me as long as you give me judgment off on you. Let me pass judgment. I mean, they can go Gengar too, obviously. Um, Arceus Dark is a problem. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful damage. CB base lure. Easy glare. If I glare Lugia, I can't beat it, huh? I probably has uh What's it called? Um Ghost Cure and White. <laughs> uh, probably has Heal Bomb again anyway. So I'm gonna attempt to get a rocks and then try and do something with this Kurum, because I feel like I get a KO. Nice. Oh god, he brought a rush around. You get a Draco? I, I don't... What's more... Okay, Kamai Kyogre is actually more important in this game than Lugia. A lot of excuse me. So we go Lottie here. As he blue flares. That's Specs, right? Yeah, it had to be Specs. Flare Cannon ain't gonna do crap, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead, or Bolt Switch, or do whatever. I don't care. Ideally, he goes uh, Lugia at a point to talk to me. Yeah, that's Specs, dude. I'm gonna drop another Draco on you. Yeah, I want, I want all these, I got the glare on Kirim, which is awesome for my Kirim Black. Oh, and I love my Z-move on, uh, I love my Z-move on the Mon, too. So you Flare Cannon now, for sure. I can just start Sunsteel striking things. Yep. 
Go ahead and give me some damage with the Sun Steel Strike. If you bring out Retro Ram now, that means you can't bring it in again. Like, he's in a position where... Does he Draco? Does he double? Oh, and he goes Lugia first, too. Sick. Give me a Toxic. Why'd you go Lugia? Earthquake? Oh, now Lugia is beat. Nice, Sun Steel Strike spam. What's the best thing I can do? Whirlwind? Like... Yeah, he should just run Reshiram. Obviously, it, did, it denied its switch-ins too many times, but look at that. Oof. And again, Lottie is the most expendable member on the team, so even if he drops a Draco... Goodbye, buddy. Go ahead and give me this Reshiram. I think I should go Arsis Dark, to be honest. I feel like a Toxic here. Yeah. And because it's Stealth Rock, Arsh is Dark, I'm, a, I'm hoping it's not Refresh. Uh, so Zygarde eats a hit. Yo, Zygarde is ready to KO everyone on his team now. Not only in my father form, but Lugia is Poison. Kiram White has been status Never mind. Forgot, you know. Forgot they run Judgment Ice Beam on Arceus Dark. Yeah, just recover here. Cause I uh, I knock out Gengar, and my Freeze Shock, my Freeze Move. Oh, come on, no. Well, I mean, Rush Ram's still dead, so it's like it's, it's the biggest threat to my team. Oh, it's toxic. I uh, I can't not toxic because I need my Sunstone Strikes. Again, Combine Kyogre is ridiculous in this. It's just... It's about placement because uh, Kieran White is faster. I think I have Toxic here always. He goes for Pain Split. Thank you, dude. I got more health. I appreciate that. <laughs> Can you not? I'm gonna spam Stealth Rock, dude. I know what I have to do. Not my Spatak. I'm not swapping, dude. I have just enough stealth rock to to keep up with your um, to keep up with your pain splits. Let's click it faster. Let's click this a little bit faster. Again, I don't I don't switch in well on Magirna with 30 million dragons. Thank you. Finally, the restaurant sack is there. Keep my rocks. I toxic the arches. Dark? Do I sense the shredder? I got Toxic you. Because I have Arceus Fairy. I don't think you beat me Morning Sun spamming either. So, um, worst case scenario, he has Willow, which he should have. Um, I mean, obviously I can dodge it. Shadow Ball isn't going to do too much. I would like Gengar to be gone because that means I can play my Arceus Fairy a little bit more freely. Please? He expected Arceus Fairy there. That's another reason why I can't double. And I just mentioned a little bit more freely. But that's good though. Uh, Gengar dies to Ice Beam from Kyogre. Now that I never have to not go for Thunder because of Infinite Rain. It's been two hours and nine minutes. How much does this do? Did this do 39? It did 33. Respectable chunk. Judgment literally picks up a KO. Uh, as Gengar has put itself in range. Don't know why he went hard, Gengar. Do not know why he went hard, Gengar. Oh, come on. What? Is it that Spadef? Is it the Spadef boosted that much to the point where it eats that? Oh, he went for Destiny Bond. Why would you not, why would you not Destiny Bond this mod? Like, you don't think this mod is that much of a threat? 
It's not a good Necrozma. Um, because if he brings out uh, Kyurem, he's forced to go for Blue Flare, and I can get in my Kyogre and Calmind up, and I think kill everything. I guess he can go Maguna and uh, go for the Heal Bell here too if he wants to. But basically, Kyurem White is what I'm expecting to come out. As he goes Arceus Dark. I don't mind being too Ikea because I I can recover up on everything. Like on Magirna, and I ended up getting a crit, which is super important too, because I don't even have to switch to let anything take a hit. You don't kill me with anything. As long as I keep you the Kyogre or Kieran Black alive too, I, I win. Kieran White. Uh, beat down is the play. So he goes for Fusion Flare. That's that looks spectacles. That looks spectacles. So we'll go Kyogre, we can always sack Kyurem. Nice beat down, but we'll beat down. And I'm back. Yep, calm mind up. Keep my rain up. I wonder if is gonna eat this. Cause even if it swaps, as long as I land, like even if it swaps, it doesn't matter. I'm assuming he's running double specs. Or that's just a scarf. Oh no. Man, Pulse is killing anything. I don't care what you are. Goodbye, Magirna. That's enough damage. That's more than enough. Go ahead and give him Magirna. Okay. I might just lose the Kirin White. Depending on the order of how he does things. If he goes Lugia, I have to... I swap. Always. Because I need a mo Once I get a Morning Sun recover, uh, I win. So yep, a Morning Sun here. Uh, since Kyurem dies, the Sunsteel Strike, and he doesn't KO me. That does nothing. He gets a Spadef Drop, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I'll be able to Toxic. And I think win from there, so. 36, I live that. I'm getting a nice little toxic off on Lugia, so it'll be good. If he switches out to Kyurem, it's 100% game. These for death drops, man. Alright. Sack Kyogre here to the Earth Power. Come on, I die. Morning Sun back up to full. Nice. Things are looking good. I always morning some back. Even if he recovers, Toxic is doing way too much. Okay, he messed up. You're not KOing me. Like, ever. Yeah, he messed up. And if he does back to Lugia, it dies. So, I, I still have too much. Yum. 36. Look at Ultra Necrozma. Man, I wish Zygarde did more than this, but of course he had Ice Beam, Marcius, Dark. So, whether he roots or not, yep, he knows he lose. Beautiful. All right, my boy Amazing Mo passed me a team too. Has a Blissey on it. Glare, a thousand arrows, thousand waves, toxic, <laughs> reflect type Latias with Psycho Shift, recover, uh, Gothitelle with Calm Mind. We have Confide, Arceus Dark, <laughs> Confide, Blissey, and Psycho Ground on. Okay, so my hope with this team is to honestly try and. Uh, Try and catch a. Well, I was gonna say try and catch a. Um, what's it called? A Xerneas, but it looks like we're not getting Xerneas today. Alright, so. Uh, Zygarde's roll in this game. Hey. 
fun. I think I auto lose to. <laughs> I feel like I auto lose to uh, Mewtwo. Okay, this is what I do. I know what I do. I let my Latios get uh, poisoned by Excadrill, and I psycho shift it onto Mewtwo, and try and win from there. That's what I try and do. So a thousand arrows in that way, uh, a thousand ways in that way you can't switch. Perfect, perfect. So you should toxic now. Nope, just uh, just breaks the mold and goes for earthquake. Nope, just, just breaks the mold and goes for earthquake, huh? Go for toxic so I can cast the Mew too. Why is my Mega Lottie not taking this well? I need him to go for Toxic. I also need to not be crit. Which is probably a lot to ask for. I really wish I was max HP Mega Lottie. Well, that was my bad. Um, I don't know if I win. <laughs> I don't think special attack investment matters on this type of uh, Lottie. Like I understand how strong Ice Beam is, but is it HP Ice? It has to be. That did nothing. Maybe if it is HP Ice, I get the damage off I need. Plumes me into my boy. I make a thousand arrows. I would a thousand ways, but I didn't want him switching into a Veltal. Hmm. He'll recover till he gets paralyzed. Uh, at least rocks threaten Mewtwo, threaten like the Veltal. They don't threaten, but like the damage is important. High Earth Power here. Get rid of Groudon. No risk needed. Um, the Excadrill is still a problem. The Mewtwo is still a problem. And Lily should always have taunt in Ubers, because it's psychic terrain. Okay, so I can actually recover stall this without fear. It's really surprised he's not spinning. Look how well Arceus is taking that versus my Lottie. That, yeah, that Lottie should have been max HP, I think, Mo. I really think it should have. I don't mind him spinning because I get up rocks anyway. Here's a more serious team by Billy Sharp. They still have a team. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. I already use your crabs. I triple switch today. <laughs> anyway, we spend a seismic sauce since taunt is a thing that this thing can do, and because he goes hard extra drill, I guess this is great because we still keep up rocks anyway. Uh, obviously, he's gonna be able to bring out said Mewtwo and, and crush me completely. Like, Mewtwo should be crushing me, no matter what. I guess I spam Confide, even though Sidestrike destroys me. Veltal is probably a defensive toxic by the looks of it. Yup. Don't beat that either. Well, I can fat wish pass if it doesn't have taunt uh, to Zygarde, so that's really cool. Yep, just fat wish pass to my Zygarde, and I get a glare off on anything. Don't be it. Don't be Ice Beam. 
Even though Ice Beam makes a lot of sense. Don't be Ice Beam. Don't be Ice Beam. Kinda wish I had a fire move on Groudon. I understand Solar Beam because you know you nerf something like Arceus Ground and and Kyogre. Look at Blissey the only one that could pass the Zygarde and actually get it back up four. <laughs> I was just thinking about that because wishes are based on HP. Be Fire Blast, even though Ice Beam makes a ton of sense. Or Earth Power, be Earth Power. Earth Power, Combine, Poison, EMZ. I like that he's actually poison, so he doesn't lose his Arceus. I like that a lot. Ugh. Which also explains why he had, excuse me, I was just stretching. Uh, it also explains why he had the, um, the what's it called? The defensive ground. No way. That ain't doing it. I'm, I'm Zygarde. I am father. Yeah, zero. And you stay right there. You're never switching. You stay right there. As I get the para. Not bad. I'm going to use a thousand ways because I don't want to waste the... Uh, Thousand arrows PP. I mean, my bad, but like, I say sorry, but at the same time, it's like I, I kind of needed it. Uh, but I went for Glare to slow him down. Mewtwo comes out. You go for Ice Beam. I always got my boy and confide as he side strikes me and knock me out. Uh, I risk a focus blast right here and go for judgment. Yes, didn't knock me out. Does mine knock him out? I'm play boosted. Yay, we ended up being down the Mewtwo. Not bad. Lele comes out. You scarf? You shouldn't be. You should be train extender. Nice side shock to knock you out. I think a charm spam versus a Velto. I don't know. I mean, he's trapped, so I, I, I definitely knock you out, but... And I don't die to you. Like, Psy Shock should knock you out because of your own ability. Doesn't get a special attack drop either, so... Yep. Nice. Lele is gone. I'm just gonna charm you, I guess. I don't know. This <laughs> is... Let's see how much Lele actually ends up doing. Hey, wait, I 1v1 that. Hold up. I don't want to be one that for crap, man. You have Taunt or, or Sucker Punch? Hey, we win. Nice. Yeah, I can even Thousand Arrows in the way I can Earth Power my Groudon. <laughs> <laughs> nice that's awesome so not only am I able to win this 1v1 my Groudon will be able to earth power as well um, I mean assuming Zygarde doesn't win because we're both doing about the same damage either way game dude not bad hey look at Zygarde putting in some work nice all right, last but not least, my boy Hiker Clarence passed me this Rotom build. Really like how it looked. I'm, like actually, I'm actually a fan of Rotom in the Ubers tier, but we have Sub Dragon Dance, uh, Ground MZ with um, Spinafaro. Oh, Boppy. <laughs> Spinafaro. Uh, Groudon. I do not like seeing a Dialga. That boy has. Okay, I'm, I'm a thousand percent sure that's Ultra Necrozma. Just because he has five other dragons. Oh boy. He's just gonna set up on me, isn't he? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Okay, so Arceus Fair is important because he has five dragons. <laughs> I didn't have another play either, huh? 
It was on a balloon. It's on a balloon. If he wants to get up rocks, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna try one of my Zygarde in this game. I think it's definitely possible. Rotom kind of walls Necrozma if it's Earthquake. What's Z? Lunala clicks Ice Beam, which is really good. And Moon Guys Beam. And especially with Dialga being gone. So if this dude uh, opts to... I mean, I wall Salamence. I don't wall Salamence. I've beaten... When the mom was in the tier... Yeah, like hard Ultra Necrozma. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sack our Groudon. I knew it was Ultra Necrozma. Like, you have Mono Dragon. You're not fooling me. We sack my Groudon to the Photon Geyser slash Z-Move, whatever he wants to throw out here. Just throw sort of regular Rotom, Photon Geyser. Doesn't even respect Rotom. Hey, you don't have a Ghost Resist. And I'm Shining Lunala. You know what that means. Give me that. Nice. Okay, so that was a Z move user confirmed. Uh, but we still have to deal with a Mega Salamence. Uh, glaring Zygarde. Poppy. I, I was just looking at ours. It just looks so funny. What is your item? You lum? Just a resto? Or? Unless you're running double Z. You have to have a Z-move in order to have Ultra Necrozma. Judgment's still gonna KO you. Oh, his plan is to beat me with Glare. I feel like Calm Mind would have been good at any point there, but at least we get rid of this. Um, I still like Rocks, because Salamence and what- Yeah, because Salamence is a problem, but... Goes hard Giratina. Hard. Goes into Giratina, rather. Really? You call my rest? Like, I have Feral throwing a Toxic you. Don't be sub call mine Giratina. I would say that's no set, but then again, Mono Dragon, so. And a fairy driven meta. He might actually be rest. <laughs> or Hex. Hex is gonna hurt. That boy's definitely a rest. Rotom's still useful to keep alive. I'm going Zygar now. There's no way you're not rest. There's no way you're not rest. Yeah, you're playing this way too spookily. Hey, don't be rest max speed either. Hey, not bad. Young Zygar. Go ahead and drag and tell that. But why would you do that? What, what did you expect me to do? Hey, go ahead and drag and tell this Caramel. Nice, in range. Hey, Salamis could get it too. You can all get it. That boy went for outrage. <laughs> okay, so my plan is to go Rotom. Uh, Volt switch into my Moon Geist Beamer and I think win from there. Yep. Nice, and we finish it off. Hey, Zyra actually saved me in that. I don't know why I Giratina switched when it was like plus three, but I guess because it's Scarf Kiram and I don't know. Good B. Oh, now we win the game because I'm assuming, I mean, could always be Rest Talk and get the Shadow Ball. I, ideally, it's not Rest Talk, and also ideally it dies to this at 64% because it's Lunala at the end of the day. A Lunala eclipsing. A nice crit. Okay. So we ended there. Uh, where, where are we at? 1500? I would like two points away for 1500. I'm okay with that though. I hope you guys all enjoyed the Zygarde Complete movie. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you everybody. I know this Uber Spotlight has lasted um, many months. Unfortunately, I didn't mean for it to be that way, but it, you know, it was in between a lot of stuff that happened. My honeymoon, my wedding, and things like that. And things just got, you know, caught up and I wasn't able to record it every day. Um, but we got through every single Uber. I did talk about doing stuff with Cloyster and other mon um, and, and like Wabafet and other mons that are not necessarily Uber but are using the Uber tier like Magirna. I'll probably do some type of extra video like that at a point. But for now, this is the finale to the Uber Spotlight 
Uh, Rhodes Top 10 in OU is going to be starting most likely next week since OLT will be finishing by the end of this week, if I'm not mistaken, or early next week. So expect Rhodes Top 10 at that point sometime next week, maybe late next week. Uh, I hope you guys are all excited for that. I love playing Rhodes Top 10 in OU, and um, it's always a lot of fun. Always great to see the support. Uh, I have a lot of ideas for Let's Go. I, I definitely want to take uh, a more casual approach, I feel. Obviously, they'll be competitive. I'll have Wi-Fi battles uploaded every day um, for the most part, yeah. As long as people can play me, I will. Uh, but I also want to do some cool things like uh, Let's Go kind of brings me back to, you know, my first Pokemon game, obviously. My first starter was Charmander. Um, obviously, this is like a... I said obviously a lot, but this is a... This is, this is a recreation of, a remake rather, of uh, Pokemon Yellow, which was not my first game, um, but it was one of my, you know, it's, it's literally red. <laughs> Charmander was my first starter, so it's like, it's the same thing. I got Charmander anyway. Um, so what I plan on doing is basically uh, playing through that and trying to complete the Pokedex in that, just like I used to do back in my Diamond and in, in my OG games. So I think I'll be doing that and I'll just be posting me catching Mons and stuff because I think that'll be a lot of fun, uh, at least personally for me. And I think that'll also, you know, attract the more casual viewer. So, you know, obviously bear with me. There'll always be competitive content because I love competitive Pokemon. I'll be playing in all the tournaments as well in Smogon and whatnot. I'll even try for Smogon Tour this year, assuming I can get a day out the week to play. But, yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I've talked for two and a half hours. I'm going to go get something to eat while this renders. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.